It's Tuesday morning, day 688. So anyone that's sort of new to the channel, 688 days of videos of what's going on on the farm. So I'm gonna get the lads on with some jobs. I've got a conference this afternoon that I'm going to. This arrived last night, but it was going dark. So we'll have a proper look at it. So it's off ER8, so it's Elliot, it's dropped it off. What it is is, we've got a SIM card off RT Farming Network, RTK Farming Network. So that will go into this screen. So let me show you what's in here. Got this screen here. Now, that is an RTK screen. Now these normally cost about 10 or 11,000 for one of these systems. Anyway, this, this was less than five grand. It's come with all the RAM mounts, come with all the cables and, and everything. Put the SIM card in there, mount it in the tractor with this bracket here, and then it will auto steer pretty much everything. So this motor, sorry, see, it's well packaged. So I get it out of the box. This steering wheel's basically got a motor in the back of it. I need two hands to get it out, two sets. So this is a motor mounted to a steering wheel. And inside here, there should be two of these white domes. Again, pack well packaged, it's hard to get out. So remember we had one of them go on the fast track. Well, there's two of them in here now. And then there's some brackets in here, hopefully. There you go, so they mount on them brackets. There's all the different wiring looms, cables and stuff. You mount them on the roof, like so. Then, with the SIM card in the screen, it gets a signal, knows exactly where it is in the world, within two and a half centimeters. This will fit on any pretty much steering column there is, because there's this box here, which is full of different bosses, you'd call them, I suppose, like adapters to the spline in there where you see it, we'll go. A bit hard to see, actually, it's that shiny. There's all them different steering wheel adapters, brackets, anything you could ever think of. It's a totally universal kit. That will then mount the steering wheel, mount the GPS antennas, mount the screen in the cab or whatever, and it'll allow us to drive to within two and a half centimeters in any of the older tractors that don't have GPS. But more importantly, this, so when we mow the sunflower maze, it's really difficult to see where you are if there's sunflowers at all. The first year we did it with a cherry picker and mobile phones, but once you got further into the field, it was hard to see where you were. The second year, they weren't as tall, so we had to keep stopping and standing on the seat to see where we were in the field. Well, now what we can do is mount the aerials on the top up here, take this off, put the motor on, then make a bracket probably off that perhaps, put the screen on, and we'll be able to, to drive around the field and see exactly where we're going so that we don't end up mowing a path back to the next one. But then also as well, when we want to go and cut the grass for the, for the field, for the dogs are, or for Brook House where people stay, we can mow it with RTK. So that's, I think it's time, it's real time kinetic, I think it's called. So you've got satellites in space and then you've got what they call RTK base stations where it sends a beam to a fixed point that never moves because satellites obviously move and because of that you don't get any satellite drift, you don't get any movement so it can steer really accurately so we can put really pretty straight lines in all the fields but then once we finish mowing or doing the sunflower maze or even in the spring if we want to go rolling on the likes of the 4955 or the 7710 which doesn't have GPS in it at the moment or even right down to so I mean Robin wants to put it on the 5140 so your baby though, innit? I don't think you need that for scraping out. You'll not be happy I've called it a scraper tractor. 1455 or even a big case, or even the 1200 Massey, once that's working. You, there should be a kit in that box to fit anything. So we can, we can basically make any of the older tractors GPS, RTK. So they'll be ideal for rolling and things. Or, or like the 936 has got guidance on it, but not RTK. It'll only do the occasional bit of drilling that we need RTK accuracy for. So rather than pay for a subscription on that system, because I think that's got Topcom in it, this has got Ag this has got Trimble. We can use that steering system in there at RTK. So if we want to drill the beans with the Claydon drill, we stick it on that. Or if we had to, if we wanted to drill with the big horse drill, 
we can put it in that rather than paying another subscription because we've got a subscription for this for a year. I think it's about 500 and something quid, just over. But it always winds me up how expensive GPS equipment is. When, when you think about it, it's just an iPad screen. And even if it's not an iPad screen, it's a, it's a generic one. They're like 50, 80, 100 quid to get an, a tablet. The aerials, sort of expensive, but they shouldn't be. And then obviously the steering wheel, that's quite clever because it's got a motor in. But 10 or 11 grand for an RTK system is scandalous. So the fact that that is less than half the price, it's ideal. So it's, it's got to be worth a go. And with having so many different tractors, I remember years ago, we, I bought what they call an ATU kit, which is a John Deere kit for a John Deere that didn't have the control valves. And, and some of these adapters were 70 pound each. Well, I mean, there's six, seven, eight, must be like nine or ten in there to fit anything right down to that mower we hope no one's ever put it on a mower before that size it's been put on compact john deere's elliot himself has a compact john deere we want on but we'll try it on that see if it, see how well it works it's rear wheel steer as well so it might be interesting but apparently you can set the parameters into the screen to say it's rear wheel steer tell it the wheelbase and it should work and then like i say we can move it between anything then hopefully pretty pretty easily that's the plan so that's what arrived yesterday. So looking forward to um, a wet day, not today, because we've got a conference, probably not tomorrow. Get out in the workshop, get it fitted to it, see what it's like, and go and cut some grass with two and a half centimeter accuracy. And then we'll then look at some of the other tractors, see how the brackets fit in so that we can just move the screen and the aerials just around the two of them or three of them or whatever we decide to do. A few people have suggested that this would be a negative earth, but the earth strap, if you don't know what you can see, is braided and goes just below there anyway. Now, if it was a negative earth, sorry, a positive earth, that wouldn't be braided, would it? And I did Google it, couldn't find anything to say that MB tracks have positive earth. So I think it is negative. I just think that must be like a plastic bush behind there. You can see, I'm trying to zoom in. But then it must have a pickup point the other side because that is a chassis rail. And you can see someone's rubbed the paint off the one below to get it a better earth. But it's just, it's quite, it's quite bad really how close they are. I think that maybe should need a bit of rubber on it because you've only got to get some dampness there to flatten the battery or something flying up and arcing across. Don't know whether they were prone to going on fire MB tracks, but if they were, I would suggest it's probably to do with that. Going to try and chase the guy up today on the way to the conference. Going to give him a ring, see if I can track down this panel for the side as well. Loads of people got yesterday's quiz question right. It was, in fact, Colin Furs, the legend engineer that's built a tunnel from his house to his underground bunker. One of my, and here he is now wearing one of my hats. So Tom Lamb, one of his mates, who watches these videos, is good mates of his. So he um, took it up there and was helping him yesterday. Got a quiz question for your ear now. What's that little loop for on the hedge cutter? I'll just zoom out so you can see. If you think you need, uh, if you think you know, leave a comment below. Quick flood update. Still there. Hopefully it's gone tomorrow. Look who it is, Mr. P. Yeah. Just got to the conference and the fire alarm's going off. Are these guys you might recognise them. I've never seen that before. So social distancing lanyards. Thank you very much all for coming. We really appreciate it. And I promise you, over the next 24 hours, your mind's going to be blown. So all the people have had those nagging texts from me, you can thank me later. Um, so for those who don't know, I'm, I'm actually going to be leaving actually in two weeks' time. A few years to work in a commercial organisation that had a really highly developed feedback culture. Everybody gave feedback to everybody else all the time in the moment. And Respond. Just that. That in each moment, I have the ability to choose my response. And just this, just that, that inkling of a question, of saying, how would I choose to respond in this moment? All of a sudden, starts to open up new possibilities. Because before, if we had the feeling, oh, why is this happening to me? Responsibility comes with a different question. How is this happening for me?
I love that the name tags that we have are the little, the cow tags, right? <coughs> the playfulness, the willingness to explore. The team has done an amazing job with this. And when we start to explore the topic of curiosity... Yeah, I travel the country talking to amazing people about the positive things that they were doing, uh, learning why it's happening, and most importantly, what we can do to stop it. And what I found really interesting was that when I showed my vulnerability, um, how I was feeling, admitting that I wasn't great, hearing their stories and working with them, um, it made it easier for them to open up. Even just those word to words seemed like a barrier to me. Many men I talked to thought that mental illness was the same thing as mental health. But if you compare it to your physical health, if you, uh, to me that becomes a lot clearer. And if you look at your brain as a muscle, it needs to be stronger, it needs to get rested. We might be able to make, we can get them mentally strong and we can stop those anxieties, stop depression before it even starts. So, so, what did you think, Tom? <laughs> I thought it was great. Very eye-opening. Eye-opening. Watch this, anyway. I'm going to flip the camera. I hope they put these on the website afterwards. Some of the take home messages I've written down on here. So, think fast, act slow was a good one. Agility, ability, sorry, agility and ability in a business, make sure it can move fast enough. There's a guy at the end that was really interesting. He was talking about mental health, but not calling it mental health, calling it mental fitness. So, getting your brain fit. I thought that was a really good thing to call it. And he was doing it a little bit like my answer as a percent, but he was doing it answer out of 10. Now, when I first started coming up with the idea of answer as a percent, I thought a percent was better because sometimes you will say I'm 100%, but also if you were nine, saying nine means something else in German. So I wanted it to be sort of a global thing. So I was explaining to him, oh, I've been doing something similar, but I was doing it as a percent. So I thought that was good. And he had some really good ideas as well about this talk club that he's been doing. So quick shower now, then like a networking dinner thing. So I will see you all tomorrow and the birthday bumper is the outro. One quick thing I just said then about nine meaning something else in German. Also, difficulty, sorry, no, disappointment in German. The word for it is release from illusion. So rather than being disappointed in something, you're just releasing yourself from the illusion of something that may happen. So I thought it was a really good thing. So I wrote that down as well. Anyway, here's the birthday bumper.